Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to the channel, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Saturday afternoon and I've just had my first outing on my boat. We went out and we did the lobster pots. I went out and go in and checked them. We had three lobsters and nine brown crabs. If you haven't checked out that video already, it'll be the latest video which is on the YouTube channel by this one. Now I'm with Johnny 500 and we're going to go out and we're going to head out and try and catch some mackerel, bream, that sort of stuff. Just so I got a bit of pot bait for the uh, lobster pots because uh, I had to do them today without putting any bait out. I've only lost one string within the last four months. So it's not that bad to be honest. They've been out there for four months, ghost fishing, managed to get most of them back. So I'm happy with that, but that's another matter. And now we're going to go and target these pot baits. So stay with us. We're going to start getting down to the boat. The boat's just in front of us. Get it all ready, get it all set up. And we'll start making our way out there. Let's go get them. So we're at the boat. The boat's already run up. Her and nicely on tick over the new 90. Fantastic. Johnny's there ready to drop the ropes. Let's get to it. Cue the music. Let's start making our way to the fishing grounds. So we've arrived at the fishing venue and yeah, targeting mackerel, bream and pollock. Might get the odd scad, you might even get the odd squid or cuttlefish on the feathers. It's happened before. So hopefully we come across some fish and hopefully we can get some of these fine fish. Like I said, I need some pot bait. So I've got no pot bait in my pot. So I need to try and get some fish on. I missed him. Can't look them up. Fish on. Yeah, we're on. Doesn't feel big. We got a fish. Quite to the bottom. You on? Yeah, Johnny's in. Double walk up. Feels like it. Ooh. That's a nice one. Alright, lovely little green there. Ow! Go straight in the bait bucket, that one. Beauty! We're over the mark now, there's lots of fish under us. Definitely fish under us. We want them a bit bigger than that, really. Fish on. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a bit better. Well, maybe not so much now. Felt right at the start. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. Another lovely little bream. Johnny's got two. That's prime pot bait for me, guys. Um, they're so easily available over here. Perfect for the pots. Absolutely fantastic. Fish on. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, look at that. Johnny. It's been a while, eh? This is good fun. That's a better fish. It's bloody been months. Good fun. Giving a good account of himself, lots of head bangs. Oh, there's two. There's a lot of under right there. Two of them. There's a lot of them around. Look, I'm a bit bigger, really, though, just for a bit bigger from behind the bait band. Fine, fantastic. Catching fish. Been a while. 
It's been a long while. Getting bigger guys, they're certainly getting bigger. Oh, I've got a gurnard. Oh, it's come oh, off. No. I had a little gurnard. So we just made our way up back for another drift. What we're using is baited feathers. So what we've got is bits of squid on the end of the feathers. We're just dropping them down and catching the bream of them. The bream absolutely love it. So there seems to be a lot of bream around at the moment. Not really a big stamp of fish, but we'll get a couple, guys. You mark my words, there'll be a couple of biggies around and we'll get them. So let's get this down to the bottom and hopefully we can get some. Good job. I just reeled off on that. There weren't even a bite indication. Beauty. Better one. There's a nice one. Better. And I've got my bait back. It's always a bonus. Better stamp of black bream. Like I say, guys, they're going to get bigger, but they will be used for pot bait. I know people don't like it, but they're plentiful over here. This is why we use them. Another bream there guys, they're coming up thick and fast. That one I'm going to chuck him back. It's a bit Ooh, small. That's a nice oh, that's a better one. Those are the ones we want. Beauty. Those are the ones we want, eh? Yeah. What an evening. Beautiful. 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 Calm before the storm. Months. Months. Nice to be back out on the boat, that's for sure. Dust. Another one bites the dust. Plenty of them around. Plenty of them around. Well, that was a big bite. That's That's a nice bite. <laughs> Look at the rod go. Two. Both a bit small, really. Yo, that a one? Sheesh. I wonder if this is. Is this a green? Very heavy. Very heavy? Yeah. Quality. It's heavy. You've got, oh, hold up, you've got a cuttlefish, or a squid. squid. Keep it, we need bait, bring it off, bring bait. it up. I thought it's heavy. Got it. Yeah, we got the squid. We needed bait. I said, we, I said there's a chance we could get squid. Yeah, yeah. but it's going to exactly. That's why I'm keeping it there, holding it. 
So guys, sorry the camera conked out. That's the lovely squid Johnny's just had. Check that out on the feathers. Absolute beauty. We're going to be keeping that for bait. So that's a fantastic squid there from Johnny. Nice one. Why were you worried? He thought it was going to squirt in his face. <laughs> Check that out. You beauty. Love it. Well guys, back up for another drift. We just had some absolute busters. Check the size of that one out. That's an absolute beast, that is. We were right over the pipe and they were all there. Bang, bang, bang. Fish it off. Straight away. Getting bigger. Yeah, definitely getting bigger. I think they're on the feet now, guys. There certainly looks like there's a shoal. Johnny's just hooked into one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, big bend. Standing in the boat. Look at that. <laughs> there you are, there's mine there. Johnny's about to show you some beauties, I think. Either that or he's got a load on. Oh, it's because we've just come over the pipe. Two big ones again. Yeah. yeah. That one's a beauty at the bottom. Get that one in quick. That's a beauty. Show that one up to the camera. That's an absolute stonker, that is, of a breed. Yeah. Good fun, the old bream fishing. Well, this one's woken up. Oh, we're getting some pot bait, that's for sure. I've got two here. They're nice size as well. The top one's a nice size. The bottom one's going to go back. That one's an absolute beauty, that one. Check the size of that one out, guys. That is a lovely representation of a bream. Beautiful dorsal fin there. You've got to watch the spikes because they can nab you pretty badly. And uh, what they do, they get infected and it does hurt a little bit. Check the eye out on him. Absolute beautiful bream, that. Beautiful black bream. And this one's going to go back. There you go, oh, little one there. Give him a little kiss. Back he goes. Seems to be where it's at at the moment. Yeah. Right, we'll bring you back once we get up, guys, for another drift. He's small. Oh, now it's working up. What's, what's jumped on here? Something's jumped on. I've got a squid. Get the net, I reckon. I reckon I've got the squid. No? Just a nice it's just a big that's bream. A really nice. That's the biggest one so far, isn't it? Oh, I don't think so. That's a nice bream, man. And there you go. There's that big black bream I was telling you about. Beautiful size, that. Absolutely beautiful, that. Like I say, he will be used for pot bait, but uh, they're plentiful here, guys. That's the whole reason why we use them. Fantastic. I'd rather have scad, though, that's for sure. He's on. Look at that. How? Two big ones again. That's a stonker. There we go. They're certainly getting bigger. Yep. And they do put up a bit of a scrap. Because it's approaching docks now. Eh? That's the second one. A bit smaller than the other one. And the nice thing about the cuttle, it stays on yeah. a bit longer than the squid. Yeah, it does, yeah. This one's a headbanger. I'm going to bend on that. That's a stonker. Look at the size of that one, Johnny. Get it. Oh, oh just, no! <laughs> no, no. Did you see the size of that <laughs> thing? God, 
God. <laughs> I'll get you, don't worry. <laughs> that was huge, that was a giant bream. That was a good two pounder. Oh no. Still a nice size, but not as big. Some nice ones down there now. And we're not even over a mark, guys. We're just literally just drifting along. They're absolutely everywhere, these things. They're like the whiting of you guys. We don't really get whiting over here. Um, do you get much black bream? If you do, let me know in the comments, guys. I'd like to know whether you get a lot of black bream. Oh yeah, for sure. This is good fun. This is good fun. I'm surprised we haven't had a mackerel yet. You're getting well. And another fine black bream to add to the bait collection. So everyone, we're back up for another drift. Um, this is going to be the last drift of the session. It's starting to get a bit dark now, but we need to rapidly get these down there because we're coming right over the mark. So I'm going to place these down and hopefully we can get ourselves a big bream, big cuttlefish, big squid. I don't mind really, as long as it's big. So uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed this evening. I'm in a great company with Johnny Five and uh, we've caught a few bream as well and he had that fantastic squid as well. So. Johnny's got some bait, I've got some pot bait. It's all good, baby. Let's get these fish. Should be markings coming up. So the markings are just appearing. We're just coming up over the pipe. Hopefully one of the rods is gonna absolutely fly in a minute. Now I've got one on. What the hell's this? It's a bin. Doesn't feel like a... Well, it's now time for squid, isn't it? How is this? Unless it's foul hook. It's a big bream foul hook, look. Right on the top of the head. I knew that felt a bit weird. That's a big bream as well. Look at the size of that thing. Lovely fat bream that is, guys. Beautiful, fantastic. Check the eye on it. Beautiful blue and silver there. Fantastic. We're gonna have to start making our way in soon because it's starting to get a bit dark. That way we've got to wash down the boat and stuff, but still some fantastic fishing we've had today. Fantastic. Another little beauty. I'm gonna have to call it a day, guys. It's starting to get really dark now. As you can see, I'm doning my uh, life jacket. I'm gonna start wearing these now. Just in case I ever banged my head and went over or something. Oh, I've got something on. Right. And the last fish is definitely a bream. It's a black bream. And it's a nice one as well. Check that out. Finish the session off, guys. Lovely black bream. I'm going to get it off the hook. We're going to start making our way in. Cue the music. Let's head home.
So everyone, thanks for coming out for another fishing adventure with me and Glorious Fishing and Johnny 500. Uh, we went out bream fishing for mainly pot bait and we done quite well actually. We had about 40 black bream in the end. I think we had 40 or 42 black bream. So all in all, it was a good little fishing trip out. I rather enjoyed it. It was very flat, calm, great company. It was a good evening's fishing guys. But on that note, I've had to pack up the boat because we've got heavy rain being common for the next week. So uh, that's what they forecast. So I need to batten down the hatches, get the cover on and make sure that the boat's safe. But be sure there'll be some action packed adventures coming soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button guys. That way you'll never miss one of these fishing adventures. Make sure you hit the like button and uh, yeah, tell your friends about it and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.